I want to go to Dragon Street. I want to go to Dragon Street. Oh, we kissed. I want to go to Dragon... <laughs> yeah, we just broke Aww, the door. How romantic. Tonight's final game, representing give, give the me a second, representing yeah. the proper balance of quality to jank. There is no other way we can end this stream than with a complete playthrough of the classic game Knuckle Bash. Let's do it. So weirdly enough, this is also from Atari, who only published this game, and it's another case of a shoot 'em up developer being thrust into the world of beat 'em up development. This is a Toa Plan game. The, uh, the, the Batsugun people, the, the freaking Fire Shark, all them games, Truxton. All of a sudden, they had to make a brawler, and wouldn't you know it, Hello. it's one of the greatest brawlers of all time. You want me to play? Sure. Okay, I'll play, I'll play until I die. How's that? Okay, sounds good to me. Look at that title screen. <laughs> I don't like the flashy, but I do like the muscle. This game is all about muscle. No, no spoilers. Let's start this game. Okay. Well, we have to go off to destroy the bull group. And I am going to play as Elvis. You can pick who you want. Oh my god! Do I want to be the luchador? Or... 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 I we're both that guy. <laughs> oh no, we're different. Being a professional wrestler is always my dream. I'll fight at the end of state sport for the corrupt Mad Bulls wrestling here as you know, in Chicago tells you me he's been arranged to decide to take some new problem and then he's out. He hasn't done to worry. He's going to Hong Kong and Skiffle. He's trying to fight the Mad Bulls. Stop at anything. Da -da -da. Even if it means. Dot, dot, dot. Welcome to Hotel Rats. Wow! <laughs> so this game is a little bit different from your average brawler. It's very fast. And in something that makes it completely different from every other, every other brawler I've played, you can punch and walk at the same time. And that changes the game completely. Let me go! Wee! Yeah, it's great, isn't it? You don't have to stand in place and punch. Oh my god, Hotel Rat! There's a lot of secret tech in this game. You can get really deep. This game is one credit clearable. Funk Doc is among the, uh, the people to one credit clear this. He's also really good at reading that entire intro in the fastest voice possible. Oh, I can't do it. You did a good job, but Thank you. you can't compare to Funk Doc. No, no, I cannot. <laughs> yeah. Real hot jams in this game, too. Hey, the mannequin piece! Mm hmm. I was trying to punch the pissing baby. <laughs> okay, I liked it. The, okay, no, 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 wait. Look at the hotel clerk's trying to get us to stop and calling their manager. Yeah, one of them's calling someone on the phone. There's a lot of good background detail in this. Now, Elvis has some secret tech. There's one move he can do that can, can get you through almost the whole game, and it's this. Just going back and forth with those kicks. I love that he poses. Take that, man! <laughs> you kill it. This game is amazing. This game goes a million miles yo, a minute. Yo, yo! Just look at the waiter. Uh huh. You can't even focus on anything in this game because there's just too much amazing going on. That waiter is me. That's how I walk. <laughs> yeah, if you got the right timing and you can just supposedly you can make. The Elvis character fly almost indefinitely with the right timing, and that makes him almost invincible. I'm not gonna try it though. I'm just gonna do my best. Don't beat up my husband, who's Elvis! <laughs> I'm the twirling waiter man. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know how I feel about the dining cage here, Vlad. I'd, I'd like to escape, but, you know... A lot of people are into it. They came to the restaurant to see this. Look at... look at... Uh-oh. <laughs> this waitstaff wants us dead! <laughs> Hotel Rats has no respect for Elvis and his generic friend. I like that Randy Savage uh, knockoff. I'm trying to figure out how I can describe how this game plays. Um, I think chaotic is the best word to describe this game. It goes so fast. You have so many different moves you can do. 
but everything just goes at a completely breakneck pace. You never have time to focus on any single thing, because, yeah, it just keeps throwing everything at you. Alright, pretty good rooftop fight. Mm -hmm. We took down Hotel Rats. Man, for a hotel that claims to be for rats, it certainly was cruel to us. <laughs> it was. Oh, you gotta mash your punch button here. Okay. This is the only unfortunate part of the game, because you need to do this if you want to run one credit clear. It, it rewards uh, life refills. Damn. Sorry, Alex. It's okay. At least I got some life. I got the winner point. <laughs> so, it's me. Yep, there's you again. Beating up a lot of pretty men. Yeah. I didn't want to say anything, but... This game's very focused on musculature and just manliness in general. Getting... Real... Look at these dudes. I'm getting real show anarchy vibes from this game. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, a little bit. It's a little homoerotic. Oh, I mean... It definitely leans into it. We're beating up a lot of very effeminate men in this game, I've noticed. Yeah, but they're all very muscular, too. They're very muscular, yes. Even these dudes. Like, look at all these John up. Waters guys we're just kicking here. <laughs> I figured you would like this game. Yeah, you know you know what I like. <laughs> Backdropped him. Oh, no, it's the... It's a scuba man. Evil muscular scuba man. This game also exemplifies just why I like arcade games in general. They're they're so weird. They could do whatever they wanted. <laughs> and what did Toa Plan want to do when they had to make a beat 'em up instead of a shooter? This is the game they wanted to make. This. And you know what? They were right. They were 100% right. Good job. Did you see what we did? We just destroyed that dude. Yeah, we ruined that dude. Let's go. Well, now we're gonna go on the set of Big Fight. Oh my god, that guy just ran at us head first. Not a fan. It just makes me wonder what kind of other brawlers did Toa Plan have in them. Because this was right at the end of their lifespan. They shut down after this. And for anyone who doesn't know, a lot of them reformed into the company called Cave, who made uh, a whole bunch of shooters. I've heard of them. Cave never made a beat em up, though. And you know what? Maybe they should have. <laughs> what would Cave's take on this look like? Um, excuse me. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just Sandy, a nuclear I think gorilla. We worry about it. It's fine. Oh, so good God, it broke through. <laughs> hey, I love this game's music. It's, yeah. Everything about this is cool, and it's also completely ridiculous. <laughs> Jump pile driving. A weird looking gorilla. Who died this gorilla? Uh, this is just a product of science. Oh, okay. <laughs> we engineered it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is Blanca's brother. Okay. Blanca's brother, Blonde Hulk. It's Gorilla Blanca. You ready to mash? Okay. Oh, and I didn't say so last time, but flashing light warning when we punch each other. Alright, BBH is requesting that you use uh, Elvis's desperation attack. Okay, can do. Elvis is just so good without it, though. That one back and forth kick, here it is. Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. Hey, anyone wants some pork? Get over here. It's being roasted in real time. Yeah, I was gonna say, these these bears walk like I do. They got their arms up and t rexing yeah. t rexing You know what it's like, yeah. Walk, yeah, yeah, I do that. It's... Yeah, I love the bear district. 
Unfortunately, the Bear District got gentrified here in Austin. Maybe this whole game takes place in the Bear District. <laughs> Vinyl leather clowns. <laughs> you gotta hit your start button. I'm back. I want you in this through the through the end. Oh, I do. I want. I want in. You know, I want in. Yeah, you gotta see how this game ends. I want to be a luchador. Oh, nice. Let's see what he's got. Yeah. Okay, if you run into my fist, it's your own fault. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mad Kids! With an apostrophe? Mad cool. Kids! Oh, uh, Luchador isn't as good as Elvis. That's Ew. unfortunate. He's got a good throw, though. I want to go to Dragon Street. I want to go to Dragon Street. Oh, yes. I want to go to drag. <laughs> yeah, we just broke Aww, the door. How romantic. <laughs> Mwah, break the door. Oh, so we're in, we're in a religious uh, temple. That's cool. Yeah, it's fine. We booked in advance. Yeah, can we have uh, one of those gay muscle brawls? That's fine. At your temple. <laughs> they're, they're cheering it on now. They're like, uh, Wednesday's no good. We already got a group. Uh, can you do Thursday? Yeah, we got it. That's, that works. That works for us. What's this guy's desperation, I wonder? Wow! That was an amazing desperation. But I'm switching back to Elvis, I think. Also, unfortunately, this never got ported to consoles like many of the games we featured tonight. It just... I mean, was there any console capable of running this game in 1993? <laughs> it's just nothing but a bunch of big-ass sprites with a ton of frames of animation. Couldn't do it on Genesis or Super Nintendo. Hell, I probably couldn't even do it on Saturn. And just like Guardians of the Hood... Yes! He's gonna fight to them! You can recruit the characters you fight. You wanna pick him? Yeah! Yeah, actually. try him out. Elvis and... My journey takes you to the Battle Kingdom headquarters of the Bull Group. It's rumored that one of them wants out of the organization. He seems he doesn't agree with their methods. I, too, was the one slur rather than the patient of the Bull Group. They are nothing but game criminals. He will listen. Hey, that was good. Okay, so we gotta fight two big van. Oh my god, not not two, but a lot of big van vaders. A lot of big van vaders. I'm also thinking people don't give Toa Plan enough respect when it comes outside of the shooter genre, you know? Like they made this, and then they made Wardner, which was a pretty good platformer. They did like, uh. What was that one running gun they did? Horror story? That was okay. They were versatile people, they just never got a chance to show it off until they were desperate. So when the time came for them to have to make a beat em up to survive, they were all like, sure, alright. Like we can do it. Can we put a bunch of weird caricatures in it? Uh chat's like, don't forget Snow Bros. Oh Snow Brothers, yeah! They did uh they out bubble bobbled bubble bobble. Arguably. There's Snow Brothers fans out there. I mean, I'm a fan of Snow Brothers too. This new elves? Mm -hmm, I love those new elves. Okay, we're actually finally in the ring. The bull ring. Alright. Now we're fighting the Road Warriors or the Nasty Boys or someone. One of them. Also noticing we're doing really good at this game, like we were sucking ass at Guardians of the Hood, but I think well, we I think we found our game is the thing. Listen, this is the game is I'm not gonna say give me fake gay vibes, so you know me. I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna play extra. I'm gonna play better. Yeah. I should really dial in the controls, be like, ah oh, yes, I get this. Like I do get this. I relate to this. I see I see this and I'm like, yeah, I get this. 
Also, yeah, the jams are real hot in this one. Super hot jams. Like, inexplicably hot. We're doing really well. We are. I think there's nine levels. We're almost done with this. How many levels in are we? Six. Oh, Get ready to mash again. This is the hardest one. That's also a hell of a bonus round, like you just gotta psych yourself up to punch your bro in the face. <laughs> Evil football man. He's got Goodbye. his own cheerleaders. Hey, these football players are strong. I don't like that. I'm gonna go back to this guy again. Okay. Mm, I should probably learn other moves. Other than just I'm punching and don't <laughs> run into my fists. I also wonder how much Atari had to do with this game, because they did publish the US version. They're credited on the title screen. So, like, maybe after Guardians of the Hood failed, did they commission this, maybe? Be like, we needed to have a brawler, but maybe one that doesn't suck ass? We need a brawler that doesn't suck ass, they say. Yeah, that was their official, uh, the official statement. Yeah, John, this is the XFL. <laughs> XFL's pretty cool. The fuck is that guy? Uh, apparently he lives below the football stadium. Got a barbed wire match. Oh, he's a oh, he's the sh Iron Sheik. That's what he's running. That's of. totally the Iron Sheik. Okay, Iron Sheik or Sabu, yeah. He's got a sword. That's not fair. Quit carving up my friend. Right. We're supposed to have a nice, clean barbed wire match here. Hold up. The ropes do hurt you. That's realism. You know, I'm I'm glad that they made realistic video games back in the day. Ah. Well, I shit. I picked Elvis. You did. Well, I'll, I'll be the ninja. Well, I'll try Elvis for a bit. If you want to see how Elvis is played by somebody who doesn't know how to play him. <laughs> Elvis can handle himself. That's true, Elvis can. This guy discovered our weakness. It's swords. There's that whirlwind thing. So this was also inspired by Mug Smashers. Don't hug me! Back to Elvis. I got him! Hey, good job! Nice! And we are ready to beat this game. But first, I think we found a new friend. That's right, the football guy. <gasps> football! You wanna be football guy? You, you know it! You know I wanna be football man! Be football guy. I love that in I love that muscle interstitial. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, it's a monster. I'm just saying, there's way too many similarities between this and Guardians of the Hood to be coincidence. The fact you recruit new playable characters as you go through, the fact it's published by Atari Games. Okay, but, uh, hear me out. This is good. Yeah, yeah, this, that's the thing. This is really good. This honestly is one of my favorite brawlers. And I can't even tell you that it plays great. Like, it's real weird the way it plays. The, the exact definition of the word jank. But it's a lovable kind of jank. Nice. Oh, 
you see that? You tackled him. Oh, oh shit. Bonk. That was some good footballing. And all along you defeat me. I think you can destroy the bulls. I hope you will succeed. Good all right, luck. let's take down Michael Jordan. In the in the mid nineties, you have fun, man. I also like how the last level claimed it was the last level, but it's not. <laughs> this is the last level. Oh my god! This fucking guy. Hey, this guy looks impossible. He's impossibly large. Look at him. How can we compete with this much muscle? And he rolls. Oh, I am not doing good here, Danny. Just keep punching. Okay, I'll just keep doing my move of just walking my fists. And I'm not doing well. Alright. Probably will get out of it. Oh god, my head! Help me! <laughs> it's throwing you around by your helmet. Oh Jesus! I'm not doing good. Oh, I'm a. I think the tech in this game is to use the football guy for this last boss, because he is the most capable of dealing with him. I'm more used to Elvis though. Oh, I am. We're getting bowled over. <laughs> it's almost dead. We can do this. You just gotta believe in Elvis. Thank you for doing. Thank you. He's got like one health left. Yeah! You did oh, it! Oh, we did it! We killed him. That's it. That's Knuckle Bash. Oh my god. What a great game. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even tell you what happened through the entirety of that game. But I loved it. Oh my god. Is this the end? That's right. Only one thing left to do. We have to take control of our destiny. What an ending! Succeeded in destroying the bull group. The world is free of their evil ways. The story of our young heroes has become legendary. Children can again look up to and dream of becoming wrestling heroes themselves. That's how the tale of the five wrestlers has traveled from mouth to mouth. What a knuckle bash it was! <laughs> we got 200 bits from SSFSX17 who says, Time point! 100 time point, 100 life point. <laughs> nice, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> yeah, that's Knuckle Bash. And what else can you say other than what a Knuckle Bash it was? What a Knuckle Bash it was. <laughs> it sure was. Alex, I have one question. What the yeah. fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the greatest games I've ever seen, baby. <laughs> that was a company with their backs to the walls, knowing that they were going to shut down any day, and being told, possibly by Atari, to make the weirdest brawler ever. And boy, that is exactly what they did. They made Knuckle Bash. Knuckles Bashed. Those Knuckles got bashed. God, what a title screen. What a game. Uh, real quick, what's second mode like? The second mode, I think, is just a one-on-one -on -one fighting mode. Oh, okay. That's a couple of... That's something that uh, later beat-em-ups did. Mm -hmm. Let you take on your opponent, a la Street Fighter. It truly was a Knuckle Bash. But who needs that when you have this? This game. Where Elvis and a luchador fight side by side against evil wrestlers. God. Evil... Uh, the, a little a bit feminine wrestlers. I love it. A little bit, yeah. Little bit, little bit. It's all part of the aesthetic. <sighs> wow. There's, there's nowhere to go from here. That mm -hmm. game is a showstopper, and thus we are stopping the show. Because <laughs> where do you go from there? Knuckle Bash. Go play it. It's a great video game. <laughs>